Fibrillation fireworks is the best way to remember V-Fib, the most deadly rhythm of all time. One of only two rhythms that you actually defibrillate or shock. Now the other one is pulseless v tack So what is V-Fib? Well, ventricular fibrillation is a chaotic pattern of electrical activity in the ventricles in which electrical impulses arise from many different foci. It's kind of like having a fireworks show in the ventricles of the heart. There's no real ventricular contraction, which leads to no cardiac output, basically meaning no oxygen to the body. So what's really going on in the body? Well, as you guys know, the heart has one main pacemaker and two backup pacemakers. In this case, our main pacemaker, the SA node, and our backup pacemaker, the AV node, have lost their controls as boss pacemaker, leading to the ventricular pacemaker cells causing a ruckus, acting a fool, contracting erratically, and kind of hijacking the heart. So using our five steps, let's interpret this EKG. So step number one, the rate is going to be unknown or indistinguishable. The rhythm, chaotic and crazy, guys. P wave, there's going to be none because the atria are not contracting, and PR interval, you guys can forget about it because the atria are not contracting. QRS, there's going to be none because the ventricles are not fully contracting. The rhythm just kind of looks like a squiggly line on EKG earthquake paper. Basically, the ventricles are not squeezing that oxygen-rich blood out to the body, meaning no cardiac output or no oxygen to the body will have a dead patient very, very soon. Now, what are the causes hey guys. of the fib? Well, ah, sorry to pause your video right there. Can't believe that worked. I got some exciting news for you guys with our new quiz bank and full access courses not here on YouTube. So guys, I'm gonna leave the link to your free demo trial right up there in the corner of our page. And guys, before I go, please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all our new awesome videos coming out here first before they get locked away at simplenursing.com. All right guys, let me unpause your video well, here. All pretty much relate to three things. Either cardiac injury, medication toxicity, or electrical imbalances. Basically, anything that makes the heart not contract effectively or leads to hypoxia, that low oxygen, which is also called inadequate tissue perfusion, basically is one of our causes. So cardiac injury, like coronary artery disease, also called CAD, is basically just that narrowing of the big arteries of the heart, which causes less oxygen to the myocardium, that heart muscle. Acute MI, also known as heart attack, causes tissue death, leading to less effective pumps of the heart. Or cardiomyopathies or valvular heart disease, which cause the heart not to have a good, clean pump. Medication toxicity from too much pro-arrhythmic medications, like digitalis toxicity, also known as digoxin toxicity. Or third, an electrical imbalance, like untreated or unsuccessfully treated ventricular tachycardia, an acid base or electrolyte imbalance, like low magnesium, which is a huge cause, or lastly, an electrical shock from anything like a downed power line or even sticking a fork in an electrical output. All right, guys, so what are the signs and symptoms for V-Fib? Well, we're gonna see classic complaints like your patient being unconscious from not having enough oxygen. But guys, if they are conscious, which is really rare, we'll see all the classic signs and symptoms from this low, low oxygen, almost like holding your breath. So we use our acronym collapsed, and yes, we spelled it wrong on purpose. So the C stands for chest pain, O for oxygen saturation that is lower, L from lethargy or fatigue, A from anxiety, usually from the lack of oxygen, P for palpitations that described as a racing heart or kind of feels like gallops under the chest, S is for shortness of breath or dyspnea, that difficulty breathing, E is from elevated heart rate or ventricular rate, huge for V-fib. And D is from dizziness or syncope, which is also called fainting or passing out from this low, low oxygen. All right, guys, thanks for watching only one part in our full video here at simplenursing.com. If you guys click the link right here, you can get access to our full course as well as our new quiz bank, which is really nifty. And also guys, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel right here. And last, but definitely not least, a big thank you to our script team and nursing family who helped us put together all these nifty videos.